Cloud computing and Internet of Things are two of the many things that are redefining the way people live their life and interact with each other. Look around you and see how many things are connected to the Internet. What even is this integral part of our life that we call the Internet? Is it just a black magic box in the air where things just happen right? Have you ever wondered what is the reason behind this infinitely spinning buffering loop when you watch a YouTube video or a movie on Netflix? Or why is it even that when you go in an elevator or a subway system, your calls get dropped and you can't surf the internet? These are all just a subset of the mind-blowing questions that I've asked myself. And I really wanted to dig deeper behind the scenes and see how this infrastructure is built. And that's why I decided to pursue a career and an education in communications engineering at Carleton University. We are currently at the midst of a pivotal point in the telecommunication and technological field. Communications engineering students at Carleton University are playing an integral part in building and maintaining the system that powers the social infrastructure that our society depends on. I specifically chose Carleton for it offers communications engineering at the undergraduate level and it has a well-recognized engineering program that opens up possibilities and opportunities for all students. Every day in the communications engineering program, you cross paths with professors who are really passionate and experienced in this field. And when I come out of class, I always ask myself, wow, is this really how my phone works when I send a text to my friend? Carlton has a really well-recognized co-op program that gives students the opportunity to work in the job market during their academic career. It gave me the opportunity to blend my theoretical background in the field to get a better understanding in what communications engineering is all about. In the first couple of years, the student is equipped with the necessary information and theoretical knowledge to understand the fundamentals of their program. And then, when they join the workforce, they get the opportunity to implement and use this background knowledge in the market and play with all the cool things. When the student comes back to university to continue their academic degree, they tend to have a different perspective on education and start asking all the creative questions in class, contributing back to their professors and peers. The need for communication engineers will continue to grow as our society's technological needs grow and diversify. We are surrounded by powerful, affordable devices and our future is becoming more and more connected. We need bright-minded people who are curious about technology to maintain this connection. Communications engineering students at Carleton University are always encouraged to keep asking themselves the question, how can we take the already existing technology, build on it and improve it to enhance people's lives on a daily basis?